What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 53. Man, I'm back, right back, right back, right back at you, man. Y'all know what's up, man. I'm playing catch up. Y'all know what happened to me last week. Man, anyway, man. Man, this story right here, man, this story right here, as you can tell from the title, man. Man, this story right here, man, is a story about, man, an altercation that I got into when I was getting a haircut one day. When I was getting a haircut one day. Man, I'm going to jump right off into it. I'm going to jump right off into it, man. Man, uh, you know, even in prison, people like to try to keep their appearance up. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got a lot of dudes that's really, really, really into that. Me personally, uh, you know, I wore a ball head. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I started wearing a ball head back in 93 when, um, my homeboy Crazy Ray AIP'd. And, um, I, you know, I, I had, I had cut my hair off then in dedication to him because that was one of the things me and him was known on the street for our, our hair. Both of us had real long hair. And um, we was known we was we was known for that. So when uh when the homie passed, that was one of the things I did. You know what I'm saying? I whacked mine off. You know, bam. And I wore a ball hair for many 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 years, all the way from '93, all the way up to about man, I'ma say about 2008. I, I you know I wore a number, but you know skin to the bone ball heads. Um, around that time, I started uh I didn't I didn't start growing my hair. Like I got here now, uh, but now I would, you know, I would, sometimes I would let it get real low and just brush it. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, if the waves came, they they cool. If they didn't come, cool. But now, you know, I start wearing low cut. You know, keeping it nice and neat, nice little edge up on it and all that. So, uh, one day, one day, one day. Matter of fact, it's for years. A lot of people thought that I had a bald spot at the top of my head. They thought I couldn't grow here. But now, as y'all can see, as y'all see all the time, it grow, it grow long too. But anyway, um, man, this is it, man, this incident, man, took place one day in the barber shop. In the barber shop. Now, one thing about dudes with hair or getting a haircut, man, you got some dudes, man, that are really, 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 really go off about getting a getting getting the hair getting their hair cut, and the barber messed their hair up. You know what I'm saying? Dudes get upset about uh. Getting they getting they getting they uh what you call that a lineup getting a line pushed back, um get dips cut into their hair holes cut into their hair uh just the wrong haircut cutting too much off um all that you know what I'm saying I I seen dude get a whole braid chopped off one time dude made the wrong move and both of them made the wrong move and <laughs> whole braid hit the flow you know I tell y'all what happened with that. But anyway, um, this is one day I got into it, man. And I was getting ready, cause I was getting ready for a visit. I had a visit coming up, and you know, I, I you know, when you go on visits, when you go on visits in prison, you want to look your best. Now, some of these prisons that I was going to, now especially like the one I was into at the time, I was in a prison, St. Clair, maximum security prison, and um, at this time. Uh, them cell phones out. You know what I'm saying? This is way later on down the line. Cell phones out. You know what I'm saying? Dudes, uh, leave that cat alone, dog. Leave him alone. Where are you? Come here. Come here. Let the people see you. Hey. Whew. Here we go, y'all. Look at he's looking at the cat now. Look, he cat just ran off the couch. He wants the cat now. Say what's up. Say what's up to the foundation. What's up, foundation? What's up? He need a haircut, huh? Mm -hmm. Get my baby though. Look at dude. I do him like this. He hate that. He don't like when I do that. Say hello. Here, go on chase the cat. Go on. He gonna chase him anyway. Ain't no need for me to try to stop him, y'all. But anyway. You know them cell phones out now. That's one thing about it. If 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 before cell phones came out, if the visiting yard was was thirty percent, thirty five percent packed on the weekends, man. After after we start getting them cell phones up in there, 
man, the, the, the vision yard was 110% packed on the weekends. Man, people get mad. They ain't never seen that much influx of visiting slips being put in and dudes on that visiting yard. Because, man, you you cracking girls every which way all day long. Man, we used to go look. When we start getting them phones, we used to go in back in the magazines and go get the... uh. The um the what's that where you 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 date oh the little dating services on the phone you know now you call a little date line the little date lines we was doing that you get like thirty free minutes before you got to pay for it so we would get as many as we could within the first thirty minutes we trying to crack some and a whole lot of people crack some man girls from everywhere man it was it was just going down man you know what I'm saying we was in the mix man it was it was fun too but um I had a, a female that was coming to see me. And, 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 and in fact, this was her first time coming to see me. Now, of course, you know, we sent pictures back and forth on the phone. You know, cool. You know, you know how they go. Sending pictures back and forth. But now ain't nothing like an up close and personal. Man, look, this was a little female out of uh, out of New Orleans. Man, she was bad to the bone, too, homie. She she was in Alabama for a few months. And, I, I you know, I got out of her character. She, when she came to Alabama, she was coming to Alabama to see, visit some family or something. So she was going to be there a few months. So now, while she was there, she was like, okay, but look, I'm, I'm going to come up and see you. Cool. Man, this little girl here was, oof, man, good Lord have mercy. I had, um, I had really, I was really into her because I had cracked two, three girls before that was out that uh, New Orleans area. And all of them looked good. You know, them, them Creoles, boy, look here, they bad to the bone. But anyway, so, um... This was my first time going out there to see her. I wanted to get my hair cut. I wanted to look spiffy. I wanted to look good. You know what I'm saying? So cool. So now with the barbershop, you got blocks. I told you you got blocks. You got two. You come in the door. You got two blocks on this end, two blocks on this end. Now, you can holler. Now, if, you, if you're inside the block, you could come up on the rock, what we call the rock, and holler through the door. You know what I'm saying? Because whoever in the barbershop, they right there. Now, the barbershop in prison... At, it's just like the barbershop on the street. It's the hangout. You know what I'm saying? Dudes coming off the yard or coming back into the block, coming from roaming around or doing whatever they was doing, they gonna always dip up in the barbershop. Police have to run you up out the barbershop all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the chair, when count time come, they'll let you stay in there and get your hair cut. But if you're standing around, la, 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 go on, take it back to your block. You can get back out, get your hair cut after count clear. Cool. So anyway, um, this was the hangout. Man, you know, the barbers were the cool dudes of the prison. You know what I'm saying? They was, you know, the barbers was always in good with everybody. Cause you know, this is the barber. This is the guy that's gonna help keep you looking a certain type way, you know? So you want to stay in good standards. You loved when one of them lived in your block. Because you know what I'm saying? That means he was on call to hook you up at any given time of day because he lives in your block. You ain't gotta try to make it to the barber shop. Um you would put your request in. You might pop up at the, you know what I'm saying? You, depending on who the person was. Hey, man, how many people you got left? Oh, man, I got two, three people, to, you know what I'm saying? Or whoever they talking to. I'm, I got two people ahead of you, three people, boom, boom, boom. Um, just, go, just go on down to uh, to your block. When it's your turn, I just, I, I come get you. Now, of course, they was able to come, you know, boom, boom, get at the, get at the cube door, the police door, and like, hey, man, uh, send such and such out. It's his turn for a cut. They'd be like, okay, they have, you know, blah, 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 blah. Let you on out, go and get your hair cut. Um, and it, it was always fun. It was always cool. You know what I'm saying? On this given day, on this day right here, man, on this day right here, um, I was coming out for a haircut. I hollered through the door, you know what I'm saying, to the barber, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, uh, hey, man, uh, how many you got? How many, how many you got? How many you got in your chair? How many you got going to get be in your chair? I was like, who was that? Who was that? I'm like, man, it's tune. It's tune. Oh, so he like, all right, man, uh, tune. I'm, I got two more people. I got. He might say, I think he said two or three. I got two or three, but whatever he said, I got three. I said, well, how long is it gonna be, man? You know, I'm, I'm right. You trying to get in there? You know, what I'm saying I'm going on a visiting yard tomorrow. You know, what I'm saying, of course, this is a Friday. You really trying to get in so you can be ready to go out there the following day. So, uh, you know, I got three people, man. I'm gonna make sure I get you in. I'm gonna make sure I get you in. Okay, cool. I said, man, look, I'm finna let the police know. That um I'm on I'm on the haircut list, you're gonna be coming to get me. Like, go ahead. So, you know, I go, I turn around, I tell the police, hey man, look, they got uh three people ahead of me. He gonna be coming to get me for my haircut. So they like, all right, Tune, don't trip. When he come, I got you. 
So, you know, I go back to doing whatever I'm doing, either back to the cell or back to the back day room to watch TV or the upstairs day room to watch TV, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Might sit at the table and play me a game of chess. Nine times out of ten. Dog, I'm not going to tell you no more. Leave that cat alone. <sighs> Dang. So, um... Nine times out of ten, I'm going to go play chess. I love that chess, man. You know, I play, it on, I play it on the phone at nighttime all the time before I go to bed. I play me one or two games against the computer because I'm a bad man on that chess board. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so uh, a haircut was uh, like like two items. I think two two items, two or three items. At the time, I think it was still two items. You know, we you know pay for your haircut. So uh, I, I'm like... um. You know what you want. You know, I'd ask him what he want. He's like, man, bring me bring me a couple of uh, corn bags of corn chips, man. You got that? I'm like, I got it. So, you know, you want to, the barber would want to make sure what he asking for you might have, okay? Or if you don't have it, he's like, man, just bring me two items. I ain't tripping. Whatever it is. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times they're going to want a soup and a corn chip because that's a meal. You make a burrito. Um, you take that corn chip bag. No fuss or no muss. You just butt, you... Crush it up real good. You be real careful with it, though, because you don't want to bust no hole in the bag. Them corn chips get real sharp when they break, and they will bust a hole in your bag. But you crush them up real good, real nice. Boom. You crush your soup up, and you just pour it in your corn chip bag. You know, just pour it in your corn chip bag like that. Now, if you got something else to go in there, if you got your little onions, bell peppers, or whatever, little, your cheese, you just go ahead and put it all in the bag. You, got, you heat your water up, take your water, take your old soup cup, you know what I'm saying? The soup cup that you bust the soup up, fill up, you know, put fill it up with water, heat it up, take your corn chip bag, and just pour it in there. Squish it around. You got now you gotta be proficient with what you're doing. You'll mess up when you first start doing it, but after a while, you know what I'm saying? It's like easy peasy, like clockwork. You know what's happening. You know? So anyway, you pour your water in there, boom. You know, get it, you know, get it to the consistency that you want it. Sit it on the table. Now, what I would do. I would take one, I'd take a big towel, and once I, you know, I sit my, you know, you fold, you fold the corn chip bag on the end. You fold, roll it up, boom. Now it's gonna, it's gonna make a big square. You want your big, you're gonna make your big square burrito. I, you sit it in the towel and just roll, and you know, ro, you know, roll your towel over it. It's gonna hold the heat, let it cook, let it sit for however many minutes, you know, you want it to sit for. Then when you take it out, bust it open, <laughs> right there. You, Take you know, split the bag open with your little spoon, and you get out. You know what I'm saying? Or if you know you want to travel and eat, you don't need no spoon, no nothing, man. You just squeeze it up like like a push up, like a blow, but like a push up. Squeeze your, I, I bite your burrito and get out. Me personally, I like to use them corn chips. I mean, excuse me, not the corn chips, but them cheese curls. We call them cheese curls out here in the south. Um, they uh Cheetos, them hard, them little hard, the hard, crunchy Cheetos though. Crush them up real good with that soup. Now it'd be greasy as I don't know what, but whoa, it'd be good. Man, it'd be good. You want to mix them together. You want the cheese curls with the corn, with the corn. Anyway, man, I'd have jumped all the way off into like a food show or something. It's not about the burrito, homie. This ain't about the burrito. Anyway, back to the lesson at hand. Cool. I got me um, I got I got him two items. So now. Finally, the police hit the door. Eh, tune. Man, go and get your hair cut. I'm like, all right. I shoot down the hallway. So, boy, I sit, I sit, in, I sit, I sit in my partner chair. He like, man, tune, what you want? What you want? I say, man, you know, just, you know, clean it up. You know, give me a little sharp edge up. And boom. Now, I used to, I used to wear the crispy edge, a crispy edge. I mean, you know, the crispy line. I didn't like mine twirl. You know what I'm saying? Like, like round it off. No, I liked it mine like, with the box with the sharp edges like that then i used to like i used to like taper the side burn down you know into a point on both ends you know what i'm saying used to try to be fly back then you know you know you know it was still a cave man at heart but anyway oh boy you know he doing he talking he talking he talking so um he had never messed my hair up before never messed it up before you know it never went wrong never went bad you know what i'm saying leave that cat alone dog so anyway, um, oh yeah, there you go. But man, this dude messed me up. When he was man, when he was on, when he was when he was doing the front and going on the side, some told me that he had he had messed up. 
he had messed up bad. How he messed it up like this? Man, the man pushed my hairline back so far. I looked at like, man, I was a kung fu expert in one of them Chinese, one of them kung fu theater movies on Saturday. You they used to play back in the day. You know how they got the hairline way back here with the long hair. What? Man, I am I, I look, homie, I am not from the Far East. I'm from the East Side, but I ain't from the Far East. I am not from Asia. Man, this dude pushed me back, and I'm thinking, you know, it's all good. Another dude just so happened to walk up into the uh, barbershop. He talking, you know, he talking. So he looked at my hair. He like, man, dang, too, what you got going on? I'm like, oh, man, what's up, homie? What you talking about? He like, man, uh, you wanted your hair like that? I'm like, wanted my hair like what? Man, what's wrong? So I'm looking at the barber. I'm like, I'm like, man, what's up? Man? What are you talking about? So the barber tell her, hey, man, go ahead on, man. You tripping, man. You mad. You tripping, man. So the dude like, no, man, man. Woo, woo, woo. He, they clowning to the point now where I'm like, hold up, man. Hold the F up. Where the mirror at? Where the mirror at? Now, in back of it was a big mirror, but I want the handheld mirror. But now he won't, you ain't got the hand here, man. So, I, you know, I, I say, wait, hold on. I push it. I was like, back up, back up for me. Hold on. So I spin the barber chair around where I'm looking at the um the big mirror in back of me. Man, listen, man. When I spun around and I looked and I seen what was going on. Man, Hmm. I know y'all be watching TikTok or whatever. They got a meme. They got a meme on TikTok where you hear a black dude like, "Oh my God!" That 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 meme would have been perfect for when I turned around and seen where my hairline was. Man, I don't I don't, look, I don't know if it was on purpose or accident. He messed up, tried to straighten it up or whatever, but it was gone. It, it was gone. It was messed up. Now, normally, I probably would not have tripped because, like I say, I wear bald head anyway. I didn't care nothing about no hair for real. You mess it up, cut it all off. Homie, I wear bald head, it grow back. But now I'm going out here on this visiting yard. Old girl had already commented, commented on my hair. You know what I'm saying? You know, FaceTime and that, or, or just from pictures. Cause you, like I say, I brush it little waves and stuff in. You know what I'm saying? You could, you couldn't tell me nothing. You couldn't tell me nothing. Now, the way my hair was, I didn't brush my hair frontwards or it's down like this. I brushed my hair back, all the way back. You know what I'm saying? My way, my way, my waves was going. You know what I'm saying? My waves was going back. All my hair was brushed to the back. So my waist. So that's why. The line had to be real crispy. You had to be careful because my I didn't brush my hair down in the front like that. I brushed my hair back. And if you clipped up in it too hard, anybody anybody that wear their hair all the way back, they know what I'm talking about. If you dip up in it too much, you'll mess it up. You you could you know what I'm saying? Because the hair going back, it's like it's like you done hit a braid at the root and the whole braid coming off. And I believe that's what had happened. I believe, old boy had dipped a little bit too much and, and then tried to straighten it up and whatever and kept going. I don't, I don't know what went wrong. He went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, y'all. He had lost his cotton pig in mind. Man, my hair like, boy, look here. I looked at like Brainiac um, off the Super Friends. If, it, it, man, look, if forehead was a person, my picture would pop up. Look, I was headquarters while I was hot. Man, I looked Man, I went crazy. I'm like, man, what the? So, man, we, you know, I'm like, man, what you doing, homie? Man, what's up with this? Man, you, man, 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 I ain't messing up, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, woo, -woo he trying to talk his way about. He know he had messed up. Man, it gonna, man, when it grow back, man, I straighten it back out. There ain't no straighten it back out, fool. I'm going on a visit yard tomorrow, man. I gotta go out in front of this girl looking like some out of Kung Fu movie. Man, you tripping. So, we going back and forth to the point where I guess he done got. On the defense, he's upset now. He mad, which I could man. What you ain't got a right to be mad. I do. So you know we going back and forth now. He getting a little. He getting a little high style. You know what I'm saying. So you know I'm like man, fool, man. 
I said, man, I'm not paying you nothing. I'm, you ain't getting nothing. He like, man, you, but he tell me, he like, Toon, you finna give me my money, man. I cut your hair, man, you mess my hair up, clown. So he tell me, fool, you a clown. He calling me no clown. I'm like, what? I'm like, man, I'll beat your behind in this, uh, in, in this barbershop. He like, man, 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 on my pitchfork, man, you ain't finna put your hand on me. Now, of course, he said he was a disciple. He was a disciple. So he like, man, on my pitch, folk, man, you ain't finna put your hand on me. I said, what? I'm like, man, you done messed my hair up and talking. He like, man, man, go on, get out, man. Now, he wasn't no real little bitty dude. You know, a small dude probably would have been a little leery to talk to me that way. He had a little size on him, but now he wasn't no punk. Dude. Everybody knew him. He was the boy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, he was cool. Everybody knew him. He gonna tell me to get out. Man, before I know it, I grabbed his whole face. I said, man, I... Look, <laughs> when I grabbed his face, I, I was intending on taking his whole face uh, and pushing it into the uh, bump of his head on the back of the wall. Uh, it didn't kind of work that It didn't work that way, y'all. Now, you know, the whole time, don't forget, he got some barber clippers in his hand. Man, when I grabbed his face and pushed his head, the back of his head hit that wall, he came over like this here. Uh, on the top of my dome with them clippers. Bow! Wow! Wow! Hey, man. Boy, that was the music for the part. Boy, look here. It's time to dance now. Man, that man, he broke the clippers on top of my head. When he hit me with the clippers, the whole little part at the end, the cut part, it flew one way, and um, a piece of the clipper flew that way. Man, he bust me upside my head hard with them clippers, man. When he hit me in my head with them clippers, I was like, hey, hey. He was coming back to hit me again. I'm, I'm reaching for his hand. When I'm reaching for his hand, uh, I, I get the hand with the clippers. Now he try to hit me. I move that. I hit him. Bang. When I hit him, he hit me back. Now, boom, he hit me back. I'm like, oh, shoot. Man, we dancing now. We dancing. He done dropped the clippers. Man, we dancing up in here. Boy, we getting it. Boy, I'm talking about we look like, man, what? Man, we, we going round for round, pound for pound. But now we kind of locked up. Uh, and held each other. Man, you know what I'm saying? So now the other dude that was getting his hair cut, the other two barbers, they trying to break us up. Man, they break they break us up. They they eventually break us up. They break us up. So now, now here come the threats. Here come the threats. Man, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I, I, I'm heading back to the block. I'm heading back to the block. Bump the visit. Bump all that. Because my head bleeding. Now, I don't want the police in the queue when he let me in to see that my head is bleeding. So I'm like, okay, don't worry about it. You know, whatever you're going to do, you're going you're gonna to have to do it now. So, you know, I get back in the block. You know what I'm saying? I go to the homies. I get two, three of them in the cell, tell them what happened. Just so happened, one of the dudes I'm talking to is the barber's cousin. But one of the dudes I'm talking to is Crip. But he's the barber's cousin. He like, we talk about it. He like, man, I'm finna straighten this up. And da 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 Make a long story short. I can I can go into a whole lot of the esoteric details about the situation. Make a long story short. Uh, we fought. Now he like I said, he got the little lick in. He did. He get he he got the lick in with the Clippers. I'll accept that. I live with that one. I accept that one. But you know what I'm saying. I uh I'm that 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 remember that video game Mike Tyson punch out. I Mike Tyson punched on him real tasty though. You know what I'm saying. You know, he tried, you know, he, he, he gave back, you know, he did his due diligence. But we had good mediators that stepped in um, and talked to us because this situation here had the potential to turn into a full-blown war on the yard because his people loved him. You know, all the disciples, they loved him. You know what I'm saying? He was cool. He was a cool dude. Everybody was cool with him. You know what I'm saying? Me and him was cool till he pushed my hairline all the way back and messed my dome up. And of course, you know what I'm saying? With, with you know what I'm saying with me holding the rank I held uh with my people with the crib of course they was gonna ride for me um so you know cooler head stepped in alleviated the problem you know what I'm saying me and him end up you know what I'm saying walking the track you know talking I end up cutting all my hair off cutting all my hair off patching that little patching that little scar up going on my got, I got my visit went on out there and clean my act up you know what I'm saying me and him end up getting cool again, and that was that. But now, that's how serious it can get in there with them with them haircuts, man. So, man, y'all know it's me, your big partner, man, Cartoon. 
one. I'm out, y'all.